Hello everyone. As you can see, I recently got in a large shipment from Amazon, but the goal of all of this stuff is to hopefully create my own homemade foam party fluid. It's been a goal of mine for the last several years to create my own foam soap to save money, and uh, today I'm going to have you follow me along as I try to create my first batch. Before we get started, please like and subscribe because I plan on creating a more detailed tutorial soon, assuming this all works. I know there's a lot of ingredients on this table, but for my first batch of soap I'm going to try to make, I'm only going to be using coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, water, and vegetable glycerin. The reason I'm starting with the coconut oil is because in my research for this video, it apparently makes very bubbly soap, and that's what we're going for, for foam party fluid. Alright, well that's the basics, so let's get started. So the first thing that I did was go ahead and measure out my ingredients, because that just takes a while and it's not very interesting. So I got my coconut oil in my crock pot here, and I got my water mixture in this jug, and I'm getting ready to mix the lye, which uh, I'll probably have to go do outside because apparently it gives off some fumes. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright, so as you can see, the oils have all melted, and I got my water and lye mixture all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start. First step, I'm going to pour the lye water into the oil that's going to start a chemical reaction. And I'm going to keep stirring it with this hand blender until it gets uh, thick like a, like a paste. Hopefully that happens. Uh, if not, I'll be as surprised as you. So uh, here we go. Looks like I got most of that in. Nothing's happening yet, so I'm gonna worry. Alright, well, it looks like something's happening. It's churning in uh, white. I'm supposed to keep going like this for about three minutes. And, uh, yeah. Well, it definitely has, definitely has some foam in it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's that good when it's all done. Looks like it's starting to thicken up a little bit now. I think it took a little bit longer because uh, because I didn't let it get like quite warm enough. But I think we're I think we're getting on track now. You can hear it getting thicker now. The hand blender's starting to have trouble. That just went from being a liquid to a solid, like, in seconds. I'm gonna get the hand blender out of the way, I think, and uh, mix around with the spoon for a little bit. And then, uh, according to my directions here, I'm supposed to let it uh, sit for about three hours. So, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all back in a little bit. It's been about two hours, and it's time to check on the progress. It looks, it's really starting to cook now, getting nice and uh, hot. I've been stirring it once every 15 minutes or so. And yeah, it's still pretty thick, but definitely a lot thinner than it was. It's starting to smell like soap, like a lot. Uh, the soap that I've been buying actually smells quite similar so I'm hoping I'm on the right track we're gonna go ahead and uh, cover this back up for the last amount of time and when I see y'all again hopefully it'll be done and ready to cool off all right it's been three hours and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the crock pot down to just warm and we'll probably stir it one last time and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and add the water to dilute it, I did heat this in the microwave too to get it hot. Don't want to crack the crack pot. Well, we'll let that sit and uh, I'll see y'all in the morning and hopefully we'll have some good foam soap to test in the foam machine. It's morning now and as you can see the soap is all liquid. It certainly looks like soap, so I, uh, I hope that you know we get something out of it. I'm going to go put it in the foam machine, I'm going to try to give it the best case scenario and probably use double the amount of soap I would usually use to dilute into the foam fluid so that we can see if we get any bubbles out of it. Alright, we're out here on my patio. I got my 
got my uh, foam machine all set up and ready to go. I put about two cups of the soap into this uh, bucket. And uh, if it doesn't foam a lot, I'm going to try adding another two cups and see what happens. As y'all can see, that worked better than even I expected, and definitely seems like a viable option for using at my next foam party. I'm gonna perfect the recipe and uh, my technique for making it, and then I'm gonna make another video for y'all, a detailed video tutorial on how to make it yourself. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up. Uh, it definitely left a strange scum on the ground. A lot more than the professional foam soap I've been buying. And also, it's strangely hydrophobic. See how the water's beaded on top of it? So clearly, clearly there's some things I need to tweak in the uh, formula here.